Hi everyone, Dave from Medimatch here. In this short video we're going to take a quick look at the Medic Compare app. Okay, let's make me a bit smaller here. Okay, so if you go to this uh, web address, it will bring you to this page here where you've got the various apps across the top and you can click on any of them. So if you click on the compare one, down at the bottom you can download some sample data here. Okay, so if you want to play around with the same data that I'm using, you can, you can do that. Okay, over to Medit Link. Let's go back into here and search. Okay, so this is the, the sample data that you can download. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the compare app up here. Okay, so it's asking us to select some files that we're interested in using in the compare app. Um, let's just put this up here. Okay. Um, so in this case, this sample data case, it's got all of these scans, but it lets you also select from other cases that you've done historically in the past. So um, maybe you've got the same patient under two different um, instances in here. You can select one scan from there and another scan from anywhere else. Okay, so we'll just select all of these for now and click confirm. Okie dokie. So it brings it in like this in a, in a little bit of a mess. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on this icon up here at the top and we're going to set a reference scan and a target scan. So it's basically the two scans that you want to compare against each other, one being the reference and one showing the difference um, from that reference point. Okay, so for this one we're going to do uh, this scan here as a reference and we will do this scan here as a target okay if you want to switch them around you can just hit this icon here and we click confirm okay if we click on this icon here it will align them automatically okay uh, you can use these to manually align them you can drag them around if it doesn't quite line up as you want or you can click uh, corresponding points okay so we've got them all lined up one over the other um, so if we click on this first icon up here, deviation display mode. Okay, so this is showing you the difference between those two scans overlaid each other. Okay, so it knows here, I mean, this, this is, there's so much removed here that it's actually off the scale. Um, but you can see we are missing a lot of uh, material, over three, three mil of material here. Okay, so it's all blue. Where it's all green, the data is exactly the same. Okay, and where there's any red, this unreliable data here, um, that will just be uh, where, the, where there's extra data, where the scans haven't quite lined up. Okay, if we go back into here and we click, um, I want to change, I'm oh, sorry, excuse me, down here, resign, uh, reassign target and reference data. So if we switch them the other way around now, click confirm. Okay, now the, the reference and the target has been switched, okay? So if we now go back to the deviation display mode, we can now see that based on the other way around, um, there's a lot, well, way more than three mil material here compared to the original prepped scan, okay? So you can play with which one's the reference and which one's the target, and you can turn each one off up here. Okay. So that's one option um, in in this compare app. Um, you can play around with the scales down here and whether you have the, uh, the the color map on, and you can write some annotations if you want to as well. Okay, if we move along to the next stage, you've got a, ref a roughness measurement mode. Okay, so we can just turn off, um, for example, turn all these off. Okay, so you've got, you can play around with the scale here. And it's just given you a, uh, a, a kind of, a way of visualizing roughness in, in a 3D environment, you know, on a 2D screen in a 3D environment. Okay, so you can play around with that. Again, you can turn it on and off here. The next one I quite like, this is curvature display mode. So if we click on it, 
so again it gives you a really nice way of trying to visualize curves um, so it says here the red represents the embossed curve and the blue represents the engraved curve so these are a negative if you like the, the 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 blue and the red is positive okay so again it's quite a nice view to be able to to visualize in, in a 2d environment you know a 3d representation in a 2d environment it works quite well um, again you can play around with the resolution here Okay, but I really I quite like that. It's really really nice way of um, being able to visualize. You know, you can see all these these grooves uh, on the teeth much more clearly. Um, the next one allows you to transform data. So if you want to move it around in in known no, with known coordinates, you can play around with that. Now this is uh, my preferred way of using the measurement tool. They've actually got a measurement mode in here. So if we click on it, uh, it brings us in. So if we select the mandible base uh, 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 wrong one pre up okay so if we bring these two in like this in occlusion now we've got um, the same functionality that we have in medit scan for clinics when we're measuring but now um, we can we don't have to select a small area we can have the whole model here and, and work on it as a whole model okay so for example we can do some lines here and here or wh wherever we want and we can then um, turn off these views and just keep the lines okay so if we click on this one here view view perpendicularly to, to section line we click it and then click on the line it'll bring us in square to that line okay same again if we do it up here where are we? it'll bring us in square to this one Okay, so once you've got it lined up as, as you wish, you can then, I think we've done this before in a previous video, but you can use um, point to point measurement. So you can do some distances if you wish. Um, you can do angles if you're so inclined. Uh, okay. And this one's quite nice. This is measured to the closest point, so you only have to select one point and it will measure to the closest opposing point, which was for that point there, it was this here. Okay, and up at the top, you've uh, got some editing tools. It's just like you have a Medit Link, you can just use the polyline trimming tool and the paintbrush to select and delete data. Okay. So this, uh, this compare is really good if you've got a patient who's grinding their teeth and you want to show tooth loss over time. Um, you can load in a scan from today's scan and you, sorry, data from today's scan and you can load in data from a scan six months ago or a year ago and, and show the difference on the deviation display mode. Okay, well I hope that's helped a few people. Please remember to go to medicmatch.co.uk for all your medic scanning needs. Thanks for watching.